I've had to do a lot of adapting this year because of COVID. We were allowed to sing in the beginning of the year, but we there were a lot of, of rules. So we would limit our singing to half an hour at the most. We would make sure we were in a well-ventilated space, two meters apart at least, and wearing masks. The first big adjustment was like singing with masks and then finding a space in our building that was uh, big enough and was available. So thankfully at our school, we do have a theater. And so we often have used that space as our choir room. Well, how do you teach choir when you aren't allowed to sing? That's the question behind COVID Choir, a documentary that we just saw a clip from. And it was directed by a 16 year old filmmaker from Winnipeg who turned the camera on his own classroom. Matthew Shoup joins me now to tell us more. Matthew, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Oh, Matthew, so you are a student at Garden City Collegiate. Maybe some eagle eyed viewers might have recognized this school there. Tell me kind of how you got the idea for this documentary. So there was this filmmaking challenge that I was selected to be a part of called the Give Me Some Truth. Uh, well, it was part of the Give Me Some Truth Film Festival. It's called the Give Me 10 in 30 Challenge. So there was 10 of us selected, and we each had to make a documentary in 30 days. And the only rules were that it had to be done in 30 days, and it had to be seven minutes long, no longer than seven minutes. So that's and a pretty so, tight time frame, Matthew. What kind of challenges did that present? Uh, it, it really forced me to think very, very quickly about what I wanted to actually do I didn't have much time to think to work out different subjects and all this kind of stuff you kind of had to like go 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 until you had it finished fair enough and as you mentioned it premiered at the give me some truth film festival in December and now internationally at the pause premieres festival in the UK this past weekend are you surprised at kind of the international audience that it's gained oh yeah I wasn't expecting any of this to happen I was expecting it to be at that one festival and then I would just like put it up onto YouTube and then that would be it. But it's played at all these different festivals now. And yeah, that international premiere over the weekend went really, really well. It was only supposed to be up for 24 hours, but then it got extended for four days because of the, it was just so in demand. It was really, really, wow. really exciting. Well, that's pretty amazing. And, and I understand you're gonna kind of be expanding this film. What have you got planned? Yeah, so I, I'm going to expand this into a bigger project where we're gonna look at all the different arts departments in GC and how they've all been impacted with choir. So we're going to look at theater, look at band, all these different things. It's really, really exciting. Well, and some Winnipeg Jets fans might recognize your choir teacher there, Stacey Natris Brown, who is, of course, also the Jets anthem singer. What was it like interviewing your, your teacher? Uh, it was absolutely amazing. None of this would have been possible without Miss Brown. Thank you very much, Miss Brown. Big thank you to her. Um, she was super, super helpful with even afterwards promoting it, but I just asked her and she was really, really excited to be interviewed for it and really, really helpful through all of the process. Well, uh, congratulations on such a success. Again, anyone who's interested in watching uh, this film can find it on Matthew's YouTube channel and we'll have a link on our website. Matthew, thanks so much for being with us and congrats again. Thank you so much. I would not be very well spoken if I was interviewed at 16. <laughs> that kid, honestly, he's got a bright future. No kidding. And what a great idea for a film and great work. And I love the hats off to the teacher, right? Yeah. Teachers don't get enough credit for what they do for our students. So, yeah, very well deserved recognition there. All right, let's talk a little bit about how beautiful. A Winnipeg filmmaker made an international debut over the weekend, and he's celebrating that success. We've done some project work, like a stomp project, where you made music with just the objects around you, which was kind of fun. Um, and then we were humming. Until we were allowed to sing again, we, we got through with a little bit of humming under our masks, just really softly to feel out those notes. 16-year-old Matthew Shoup's documentary COVID Choir focuses on how the Garden City Collegiate Choir program pivoted through the pandemic. Featured in the film is the Winnipeg Jets anthem singer Stacey Natris Brown, who also works as a choir instructor. Shot over a month as a part of a competition last year, Shoup explores the challenges singing through, of singing through the pandemic. This past weekend, the film was part of the Pause Premieres Festival out of the UK. I wasn't expecting any of this to happen. I was expecting it to be at that one festival and then I would just like put it up onto YouTube and then that would be it. But it's played at all these different festivals now and yeah, that international premiere over the weekend went really, really well. It was only supposed to be up for 24 hours, but then it got extended for four days because of the, it was just so in demand. It was really, 
really, really exciting. So we did a lot Shoup says he plans to expand the project by focusing on all of Garden City Collegiate's art departments, including theatre and band. To watch the full version of COVID Choir, simply head to our website, ctvnewswinnipeg.ca, and follow the link. Impressive guy, huh? No kidding. Good job. No kidding. All righty, that's going to do it for us. Remember. Okay, Colleen Brady has your spotlight today, and Colleen, a 16-year-old Winnipeg mm -hmm. filmmaker, made an international debut over the weekend. He sure did. Matthew Shoup's COVID Choir documentary focuses on how the Garden City Collegiate Choir program pivoted during the pandemic. We've done some project work, like a stomp project, where you made music with just the objects around you, which was kind of fun. Um, and then we were humming until we were allowed to sing again. We we got through with a little bit of humming under our masks, just really softly to feel out those notes. Featured in the film is the Winnipeg Jets anthem singer Stacy Natras Brown, who also works as a choir instructor. Shot over a month as part of a competition last year, Shoop explores the challenges singing through the pandemic. This past weekend, the film was part of the uh, Pau's premier festival uh, out of the UK. I wasn't expecting any of this to happen. I was expecting it to be at that one festival and then I would just like put it up onto YouTube and then that would be it. But it's played at all these different festivals now and yeah, that international premiere for the weekend went really, really well. It was only supposed to be up for 24 hours, but then it got extended for four days because of the. it was just so in demand. It was really, really, really wow. exciting. So Shoup says he plans to expand the project by focusing on all of Garden City Collegiate's art department, including theater and band. To watch the full version of COVID Choir, simply head to our website, ctvnewswinnipeg.ca, and follow the links. That is fantastic. It looks actually very interesting, yeah, too. Yeah, did a great job. Mm-hmm.